Hello everybody and welcome back to some Enter the Gungeon, the Mega Modded series. And one thing that you might be noticing right off the bat, instantly, is the breach looks a little different. It looks a little more cluttered, a little more alive, a little more decorated. And that's because a wonderful, wonderful sprite artist and modder called Dallin has created this just absolutely fantastic mod. Possibly one of my favourite mods in Gungeon right now. I realise it's only visual, so that's a high order, but goddamn, it's so cool. Like, look at all this stuff. There's, like, little photos on the walls. There's, like, little decorations above the doors and hanging off the arches. Little telescope. There's, there's all sorts of cool stuff. There's just so much interesting stuff going on. It's crazy. Like, there's, like, a little barrier on the door there. This dude's costume is sitting here. The tables we decorated, there's more bottles there. He's getting really drunk. And then down here, we got like the cosmonaut helmet. We got some hegemony credits down here. Um, we've got this dude with all of his like different things you can unlock from him and like different quest items. We've even got the little cell creep here, which is actually a suggestion that I gave. I'm really glad that he added that. That's really cool. Um, and then, yeah, we got like the little... Uh, Thing here showing off the game and some of his bullion. I just even even stuff like this here, the uh, the carpet, the edging and the pattern on the carpet has been adjusted. It just all looks fantastic. It honestly just looks absolutely fantastic. I I, I, I love it. I think it's an absolutely fantastic mod, and I really can't wait to see what other resprite stuff Dallin has in the future. Cause goddamn, he has set the bar quite high with some of this crazy stuff. It's he slash she, actually. I don't actually know if it's a he, but... Well done, Dallin. Amazing. Anyways, we get DDR, which is kind of interesting to start with. An extra key, and the glass... Glaster? Glaster. Anyways, we're jumping in. We are using a few new mods. Obviously, that the um, Breach Renovations is one of them. Another one is basically the sequel to... Um, to Prismatism. But apparently it's less of a meme mod and more of a serious mod. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. But yeah, the DDR thing. So for one, for one, I'm, I'm leaving a cobweb trail, which is kind of interesting. Um, we've got spider boots. And this is one of the items, actually, from the new pack I was just talking about. Um, Oddments, it's called. Uh, we've also got the DDR here. Um, moving in a direction increases the stat. Left uh, is damage, right is shot speed, up is rate of fire, and down is reload. reload. And then we've also got this here, which is one more, once more into the breach. Increase in damage the more glass guanstones are held. Kind of interesting. We didn't really start with a other good weapon. I have to say the glow from DDR is um, somewhat, somewhat blinding, but I guess we'll deal with that later. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to pause in just a minute, but I kind of like the, the 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 cobweb the cobweb feet sort of thing. I am back. I apologize. I don't. I was just about to say I don't know how long I've been, but for you guys, I've not been long at all. But for me, yeah, I genuinely don't know how long I've been. It's been a while. Okay, that was setting fire to my webs. Oh god, this effect is blinding. So this gun with one glass one stone, it's not very good, which is fine because I think the whole point of the gun is meant to be that unless you have two or three, it's probably not going to be very good. But just let's try and remember that for now. We can try and stack them up, I guess. We do have some extra keys here, so I'll go for this. And this is a weapon that I very much like. I, I wonder if it's um, if it looks like that because of us playing as Paradox, or if that's just genuinely how the effect is meant to look. Either way, I apologise for everyone's eyes. What do we get here? Ballistic rounds? I can never remember what these do. Let's have a little look-see. I've had them before. Project... Uh, oh, nice. Yes. Okay. While right now, where it's not very useful for us, being able to break the boss damage cap is potentially insane. Like, for anyone that has played or seen me play Boss Rush, that can do some really wacky things. But yeah, we are also playing with the Equilibrium mod on, so we should hopefully see um, a good distribution of different guns and items from different mods. The mod seems to be working pretty well. I like the idea of it. It's good that every creator gets an equal opportunity. Um, and it also just spices up the runs a bit so we're not seeing as many of the same items or at least as many from the same mod. Which is always nice because there is a ton. And I mean a ton of items and guns we still haven't seen. Like, like, 
legitimately, I think, hundreds that we still haven't seen. So we're quite a ways off. We did unfortunately lose our Glass Gorn Stone. I do wonder if that weapon is going to give us one Glass Gorn Stone per floor. It very well might. We've got a rock and we've got the magic quiver. Uh, why does it sound so wet to walk on the webs? Um, I think I'm just going to buy the other key, to be honest. I would like the magic quiver, but extra key seems good to me. I think the um, chest room has uh, turrets in it. I can hear something shooting. We'll find out in just a moment, won't we? Raccoon! Hello, my sweet. My sweet baby raccoon. Oh, no, it's one of these ones. Okay. I knew I could hear ear noise. But this serves as a key, at least. And we get... Withering to... I can never remember how this works, but... Isn't this the one... Uh, guns with higher max ammo deal more damage, but... Um, suffering damage... But suffering damage withers away your... Uh, uh, okay. I see, I see. Okay. So, basically... Weapons do more damage, but as we take damage... Okay, that's actually kind of nutty for uh, the boss damage cap sh shebang we've got going on right now. Holy. Why do we always get these first floor game-breaking combos? Do you get a fire lance here? Like, my god. So, guns with high max ammo are going to be insane. Okay, these are relatively easy to kill with the fire lance. Which is always nice. I can't see the webs. The webs are invisible. It's not fair. Um. Yes. Also, are you a mimic? You are a mimic. Okay. That may have been ill-advised, taking the glass pane. But our damage is now up to... Uh, I don't actually know. Which one's our damage again? Is it, the, is it the one at the top? Is it four? Is our damage four? Yes. Okay, anyways. Let's keep her going. We should, we should kind of stomp through the game right now. A little bit. And then bosses. Oh boy. Bosses are going to get demolished. <laughs> like, like I... I wouldn't be surprised if we can kill a boss in, like, half a magazine of this thing. But even regular enemies, I think, right now, we're going to kill very quickly. Um, and as you can see, that is clearly the case right now. Because we've got the extra damage. In fact, that's a one-bullet kill from the magazine. Plus the extra damage from the, the glass pane. Like, this is kind of nutty. We have created just an absolutely insane run here. <sighs> I'm annoyed I took the sunglasses, but at the same time, I don't really mind them because it's, uh, they are, like, decent because they give you coolness, but it's also just annoying to have them. The good thing about this is, as well, we can use very minimal ammo and keep our max ammo because I think even, I think regardless of how much ammo is left in the gun, we still get the full damage bonus based on the max ammo, I think. I'm not 100% sure if that is true, but I'm going to assume it is. Armor's going to be really good for us here. What you got going on? Trank gun, not so good. We want things with, of course, high max ammo. The trank gun isn't really going to do it. I really don't like the, the squelchy, watery noises that are produced by walking on webs. Is that a thing that's always been in the game, or is that specifically with these boots? It's, it's, it's unsettling. Like, they're definitely a problematic for fire. Like... Overall, they're kind of decent, but they're very problematic for fire. We got the shovel. Grave digger shovel. Turns all enemies in the room into tombstoners. Destroys uh, all tombstoners that are already in the room. Intriguing. We've also got a mini boss here, which... I'm curious to see how quick this dies. It survived my first little onslaught of bullets there, so that was more than I was expecting. A glass curse. 
Prevent prevents armor increase. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if that's new or I've just never noticed that before, but that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty cool addition there. We got these little bomb crates here, which are just awesome. We also got a wall mimic, which I wasn't expecting at all. Holy. Can we get over here? Damn it. I took damage. That's going to lose us all. Oh, that lost us a lot of max ammo. Wait. Molotov buddy might be terrible. He might set, up, set on fire everything that I have. Like, all my webbing. I'm annoyed that I lost so much max ammo on that thing. That's very terrible. I don't know if I can get the max ammo back, either. It's definitely weakened our gun. All for a simple mistake, as well. I was looking forward to how quickly I killed the boss. Yeah, this thing's killing reasonably quickly right now. I realize we don't have any glass one stones. Yeah, this guy, the, the Molotov dude, fucking terrible idea. I'm going to have to either drop the boots on the Molotov buddy, because they do not blend well at all. Okay, tombstoners. Kind of an interesting idea. I, I can't see myself using it that much, I'll be honest. What mod is it from? We don't know. I have the thing that tells you which mod it's from, so I don't know why it's not saying. Oh well, I guess. It's not, to be fair, it's not too bad as long as he's not close to us. If he's, if he's in our path, then he's going to be problematic. Otherwise, we should be okay. We've got to be a little careful around him as well. Oh, God. What on earth is that? Portable sewer grate. Uh, bleaker item pack. Causes the player to seep into the ground, become invisible, and have increased speed for a few seconds. Also shoots bullets upon seeping into the ground. Interesting. I thought it was going to be like a portable cell creep at first. Oh, hello. Oh. Aura bullets? is going to be insane with this setup. <laughs> Aura Bullets is going to be really, really good. Where's our boss at? Is this going to be the boss? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I guess we continue to use this thing. Or maybe we use this. I don't know. So, okay, that makes us unable to fire, which I, is not great. Yeah, I thought that, I didn't think this would make us unable to fire, but then again, it also does make a lot of sense. So I'm not going to complain. It's a pretty cool item idea. I like it. We got this bad boy. That guy has a lot of health. Don't really want any of those. And I think we're gonna go. We still need some better items with higher ammo counts, but otherwise we're doing not so bad. Getting like a minigun would be pretty insane. I don't know where our music went. Oh, hello, there's a map dude over there that I never saw. Where did my music go? I love this irregular shotgun, it's very cool. Wait a minute, sir. Huzzah, I've cleared your map. We got the Resalter. Oh, Re Resolute? Is it? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce this thing. Re Reassault? Resolute? I, I don't know. I can't read. Don't blame me. I can he read. I can he read. 
This thing, this thing should be pretty decent. Unfortunately, we weren't able to wreck the boss quite as quickly as, as I was hoping for with our 6 660 ammo. I'm trying to think if there's a way to cheese the ammo thing. I feel like there, there, there probably is, but I, I don't know it. So, like, dropping this and picking back up doesn't do anything. Dropping this. Dropping this. No. Okay, I don't think there is a way to cheese it, unfortunately. I'd love it if there was, but... Oh, yeah, this thing's going to be mental. Although, this thing is losing max ammo, which is technically making it weaker. We did gain max ammo back there, though, which I'm... I'm, I'm a little confused. Oh, we got plus 10 for getting a kill there, I see. I remember... Oh, puggle sticks. Damn you, game. We just lost a ton of max ammo on this thing. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, we're fine. This is a horrible, horrible, horrible room. <laughs> With all those mushrooms. Dude. This guy firing the skulls at me? Not okay. Did not like that room one bit. No mimic. No mimic. This thing's probably going to be pretty good because we're able to consistently keep high max ammo. Regardless of getting hit, I think. Like, even when we lose some, we get to gain some from getting kills. This might actually be, like, one of the most perfect weapons we possibly could have gotten. I don't know when it triggers us getting extra max ammo, by the looks of it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. We got plus 10 there. We got plus 10 there. Plus 10 there. Okay, because I think because of our unnaturally high damage, we're able to get more max ammo than we should like, with this gun, we're able to get higher than the base of the weapon, which is going to lead to some interesting stuff with our current setup. I think we have to be really conservative about how much ammo we use with it, because obviously it does shoot from its max ammo pool. But I think we can raise this thing's max ammo to pretty insane levels. We've already got it up to 300, and we've refilled it as well. Awesome. I think this is going to be the gun for us. I think we're going to stick with this gun. We're going to use it a lot. <laughs> it's going to it's going to definitely burn through uh, on bosses. That's that's definitely true. But otherwise, on regular rooms, I think we're going to have a pretty good go of it. To be honest, I love the aura bullets as well. They're definitely helping. We're up to 374. Okay, this is the gun. We got possibly the most perfect weapon for this run. Which is crazy, because I keep getting these just insanely lucky runs. I love them. I just love them. They're really fun. Uh, what we got here? We got Tentacle. We've also got the Prick here, which seems fun. I might take the Prick here, because it will have a, a decent ammo count. It should have 500, if it's like the other AKs. I also want to see what it does. Okay, we're up to 400 on it already. You're on fire, sir. Not a good look. We have a secret room in here as well. Rather nice. And it's a chest secret room as well. Incrementum is a good ammo count weapon. Incremental, even. But this this thing, this thing is the cream of the crop. It's incredible. Oh, that's a different type of cultist there. What the hell? Was that like a dual wielding one, maybe? I've just not seen before. Do we want to take that or do we want to take the prayer care? I think we probably want to take the prayer care, to be honest. It seems more fun. Wait, are we missing out on... Well, okay, we're missing out on two chests on this floor, actually. Nah, Prey Case more fun. And it does have 500 ammo, which is pretty good. Pretty slow fire rate. 
Deals 20% bonus damage to, damage to blessed enemies. Um, so jammed enemies, sorry. Okay, interesting. It's not, it's not crazy, but then again, not a lot of the AKs are, so it makes sense. So let's try and use this thing and see how it goes. Yeah, it's pretty good. We got Cartographer's Eye. Grants vision of important rooms, grants access to uh, a randomly selected special room. Nice. Ooh, we got something new there. This is... Oh no, it's just the resprite Pit Lords Pact. I'm going to take this bad boy because I think he could be pretty good. I don't know if he gains our benefits, but if he does... He's going to be amazing. Also, we managed to get two keys. So we get to open these chests as well. So we get ourselves the dart rifle, which is decent, but the ammo count makes it less useful. And we get gasoline, which uh, is delicious, apparently. But also, we're going to set more fires, apparently. Killing enemy spawns a pool of fire. Fuck me. I might have to drop these wee little booties here. It's, uh, it's dangerous for us. Right. Let's keep using this bad boy for now. Try and get the max ammo up. To just I, I just want to see how high I can get the max ammo to. Because because basically every single time we increase the max ammo, we increase the damage that we deal. Which means it's easier to kill enemies. Which means it's easier to gain more max ammo. Which means it's easier to gain damage. And I just I feel like we could get this thing up to an absolutely redonkulous on. Oh, no. I forgot this room existed. What the fuck even hit me then? Also can't go through that way apparently. That's not an actual exit. Lord. <laughs> Save me. So I did, I did lose about a hundred there. Oh wait, no, I gained it back. It doesn't matter. This gun seems to be somewhat glitched with the withering chamber. It doesn't actually take the ammo away from you correctly, which is awesome for us. It's pr probably pretty saddening for Nevernin because I'm breaking one of his items. Are we immune to fire? Okay, we are immune to fire. That that makes the gasoline and the wee little booties way more viable in my eyes. I don't know, does every enemy killed give us bonus ammo? It can't be every enemy, right? Also, by the way, this guy does gain our bonuses because he's got the aura bullets, which is nutty. I don't know what these things do, and that scares me. Well, that's pretty cool. They're like sniper, um... De I got hit. God damn it. Oh, wait. I am like one hit away from death. I'm not reading that because I'll say it wrong. <laughs> what does this do? Curse increases fire rate. Yeah, as soon as I get a kill, it just raises me back to max. <laughs> so getting hit doesn't really do anything. I do, I do have to be very careful, because um, I'm taking a lot of damage. Also, gasoline. I don't think I like gasoline. It's kind of a meme item. And it's... Uh, it's destroying my frame rate, but also making it very hard to focus on what I'm actually doing, slash meant to be doing. Nice and ammo up there. These guys are the best for gaining some max ammo. I am afraid I'm going to die soon. I do have to be very worried about that. The 690 now. 
my little flame boy. Oh, hello. Ghostly being, and I not expect to, did not expect to see you here. I love that. <laughs> Uh, these rooms have been revealed to us and... I wonder if the little blobs count as well. If they do, we get in crazy ammo for this. We're already looking pretty good. We need to get to our shop here. We've been very light on keys for our part parts of this run here. I love the way that he can grab my bullets, but they're still aura bullets, so it's like useless for him to grab them. We got Daisy Duke's gift. We got some interesting stuff here, but at the minute we just want key. We can also go and check out what this shrine do. Hello, fish lady. Just just says leave. Okay, I will. And we get ourselves uh, a cactus club. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, where's our insane gun? Okay, with 800 max ammo, I have a feeling this is about to absolutely wreck the shitter of this boss. It did. Oh, good. We can duct tape something to this. Also, a synergy with duct tape? What? What the heck? Cactus Club, what the hell? Doesn't seem to do anything in particular. Okay, we need to duct tape something to this. Um, this is kind of a tricky one. Maybe this? I'll try this. Okay, because that raises the max ammo a nice amount. We get a few extra bullets when we shoot. Oh, wait. It raised the, the, the max ammo a nice amount until it didn't. Strange. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Clearly, this gun has some max ammo issues. It does not like anything else interfering with how much max ammo it has. It is its own woman. It don't need no man. It's been very bizarre. But I don't know. I like it. We did get up to like 890 and now we're back down to like 770, I think. I really want to get to above 1000. We were at above 1000 when we duct taped. That's kind of why I did it. But the game was like, eh, no. So, strange. We might have ruined this weapon by duct taping it. We might expend too much ammo per shot now. I don't think we will, but we might. Ow, I got hit. So now we're... And then I went back to... This is confusing. I was up to like 900 then. And now I'm back down to 700. I don't... I don't know. Okay. I'll be honest. I have no idea what's happening. I'm still gaining max ammo. Dude! I couldn't be more of an idiot. I thought that enemy had died. Debt. Damn, that was a really good run. Anyways, yeah, that was a really stupid death. Really stupid. Like, the only cast enemy I basically saw in the entire run. And I walked directly into it. I don't even know what I was thinking. I don't know if I... I maybe tried to roll, maybe I didn't. Anyways, that was a really broken run. And it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.